Hey, what's up? My name is Dan Barnes. I'm from Buffalo, New York, 19 years old. Uh, I've been skiing for about seven and a half years now, and um, we're about to do an interview for BMAG for While You Were Sleeping. I like switch ups and I like solid tricks, just kind of what I'm in the mood for. But um, definitely would prefer to see a nice solid trick done like properly and you know, to like your fullest potential and make it look good. You see a lot of people doing switch ups and just kind of one trick is just all sloppy and they're going from it. It's just, you know, it just doesn't really catch the eye that much. So I kind of work from the first trick up. Um, you know, I guess True Mizu, 360 True Mizu, you know, I first learned the True Mizu and um, I don't know, I kind of, when I, you know, when I first lock on, I just kind of, in my head, it's kind of like pieces to me. It's kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like, not like a puzzle, but I kind of like work at one trick. Like, I'll first focus on locking on the true Mizu, and then I'll focus on turning my shoulders. I'll focus on my, you know, where I'm spotting the rail. And I'll spin my body around and then land true Mizu. Like, I kind of know, like, if I do one trick, like a true Mizu, and if I'm off balance or something, I know, like, right from then I can, you know, continue with the switch up. I, my best, I found it the easiest, kind of just, you know, piece it together to work at one trick at a time. It's the first time I saw the uh, USD video, Coup d'etat, um, Dustin Latimer section just pretty much blew me away. I just, it really caught my eye, and you know, and I was just starting out and I really didn't have like a, you know, like a, someone to look up to at the time. Just how he makes everything look, you know. He grabs his backslides. Um, <laughs> Just everything from the way he dresses to the way he skates, and I just think that's awesome. I don't know, around here in Buffalo, you have a lot of ledges you can't grind off the end, and I don't know, there's like a crack in it or a pillar or something that they jump off before. It just doesn't give you that same feeling <laughs> when you're grinding off the end of the ledge. So you can like grind off the end, maybe throw a spin or something, or just you know cruise off the end. It's definitely a like very good feeling. I don't know, style just seemed like it was probably like the most important, you know, the most most important factor in like rollerblading. I don't know, me and my friends first started. I mean, one of us would do a sick trick, you know, but we would we'd be so critical and be like, that didn't look good, that didn't look good, and we always just strive to make our tricks like look proper and solid. So style's kind of a gray area, but um, probably the most stylish skaters are, well, for one, de definitely Dustin Latimer and Coup d'etat and my game, Brain Free Gone era. Probably Dominic Sagona, he's probably, you know, probably one of the most stylish skaters. I remember when I first got that one box issue when he was top slowing that flat rail with the drop, I, you know, it was just pure style right there to me. And, to this day, I still think he probably has one of the greatest styles, just makes his tricks look proper. He does everything like very smooth, skates fast. Don Bambrick's probably another one of my, you know, top stylish skaters I like to watch. Yeah, I forgot. Definitely Gary Murphy, for sure. <laughs> when you can do a trick solid and make it, I guess, look good and have total control, I think that's like stylish in my opinion. In regards to falling, I mean, I, 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 you know, I fall for sure. <laughs> I take my hard slams, I and mean, I'm kind of a big kid, so I definitely feel it. I think another major thing in role playing, though, is like your own confidence. You gotta have confidence in yourself when it comes to doing tricks. Like, you don't, like your own worst enemy is like when you doubt yourself, like you know, of anything. Like once you start doubting yourself, you might as well just give up. Just believe in yourself, and I mean, you know, work your hardest at it, and eventually it'll pay off. Yeah, I mean, for sure, I still dream about roving. I mean, it's like my life, you know, it's my number one hobby. It's what I've been involved with for the past seven and a half years of my life. I've taken all my time and devoted it to one thing. So, you know, I dream about it. I think about it all the, pretty much every day, all day, you know, just always thinking about it. And yeah, definitely still dream about it. <laughs> so this was just a little interview with me, uh, Dan Byrnes. Um, I'd like to thank all, like all of you for um, your support and buying the video and taking the time to watch, you know, this interview, the trailers, the teasers, the promotional edits, and all that. It really means a lot to us. We took a lot of time and effort to make this video, and um, I guess the only thing to say is, you know, just get off the message boards and go out and skate. You know, promote rollerblading right now it needs it more than ever. So just, you know, go out there, make it look cool, and uh, see you guys later.